What is going on guys? Joe here back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily get iOS 12 on your iOS device. Now Apple released the initial beta for iOS 12 to developers so this means if you want to install it on your device right now you will need to have your device registered to a developer account. But if you want to access iOS 12 early and be able to use all the new features like Memojis, group notifications, group FaceTime, and more, this is how you can easily do it without the need of having a developer account. But do be aware this is still in beta so you will run into bugs. So if you do rely on your device for certain apps or important work, I advise to stay away until the public version of iOS 12 beta comes out or when the official final release of iOS 12 comes out in the fall. So do install this at your own risk. Now for this video, we'll be installing it on my iPhone 8 Plus, which is currently running iOS 11.4. So if I go here to settings, general about, you will see that I have 11.4 running. Now if you are running iOS 11 on your device at the moment, your device is going to be compatible with iOS 12. So if you are trying to install iOS 12 on your device using this method that we're doing in this video, it should work out. Now before going any further though, I highly recommend to back up your device either using iTunes or iCloud as you do not want to lose any data in case something does go wrong. Do keep in mind if you do want to update iOS 12 and later decide to downgrade to iOS 11, you won't be able to restore your backup if you backed it up after installing iOS 12. The reason why is because the files will no longer be compatible on an older software such as iOS 11. So pretty much if you want to downgrade to iOS 11 after this, make sure you have an iOS 11 backup. Otherwise, if you don't, you're going to have to start fresh if you do decide to downgrade from iOS 12 to iOS 11. Just keep that in mind. But once your device is backed up, we'll be good to go. So right now, if you try to go to settings and go to the software screen, if you go to general, go to software update, you'll get something like this where it says that our software is actually up to date. But what we will be doing is installing a profile to your device by simply going to the link that I'll be providing in the description. I have it here in my notes. But if this link is no longer working for some reason, I'll be sure to update it with a working one. Meanwhile, iOS 12 is in beta. So by simply clicking on the link, it'll take us to this website. And what we'll do, we'll have to click on slow download because we want the free one. And here we'll get a prompt where we will hit allow and it's gonna show us the profile that we're gonna to need to install. So by installing this profile, it will allow your device to get over the air updates every single time Apple releases a new iOS 12 beta. But do install this profile at your own risk as I'm not sure what type of access it could have on your device if it is installed. The device I'm installing it on will not have any private information, so I'm fine with installing it on this device just for testing purposes. But if you're cool with that, all we got to do now is hit install and then we'll hit install one more time, one more additional time, and then we'll get the prompt where we'll have to restart our device. So simply click on restart and then your device will of course restart. And once it boots back up, we'll go ahead and unlock it and going back into the settings, going down to general, software update, you will now see that we're able to update to iOS 12 developer beta. So all you gotta do now is download and install, hit agree at the bottom right, and then depending on your internet connection or the servers, it might take a few minutes to download. Now once the software is downloaded and ready to be installed, it'll go ahead and do it by itself or you can just hit install now and your device will go through its process. Now once your install is complete, we will see that iOS 12 is now installed. So you'll simply finish the setup screen here. So it'll say update completed. Now if you go into our settings and then general, about, you will now see that you have iOS 12. So another way you can notice that is the settings are a little different. You got the new feature like screen time, 
but we also have a new wallpaper. So go into wallpapers, go to stills, and this is the new wallpaper here. So this is iOS 12. You now have access to it without having a developer account. So like I said in the beginning, you'll be able to easily update to the new iOS 12 betas whenever they are released by going into settings, general, and then software update like you normally would. So do stay tuned for coverage on iOS 12 as I'm gonna be launching a new video very soon, if not already, showing some of my favorite iOS 12 features. But other than that, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy this and if this was helpful, let me know by hitting that like button below as it not only lets me know you, that you did enjoy the video, but it also supports the channel. And if you want to keep up to date with what is going on, go ahead and follow me on social media like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. I'll leave those links down below in the description. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I drop my next video. So do stay tuned. Let me know what your favorite feature in iOS 12 is down in the comments below. I'm interested in knowing what your thoughts are about it. But overall, from my experience, I've been enjoying it so far. It's a good improvement and update for iOS. But stay tuned for my next video because I'll be going over all my favorite features. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your support very much. But as always, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.